What's up guys, this is Jaffa Party and today as part of the revised series where I just walk around and check out competitive community maps or just general community maps. Um, today we're looking at the map DE Fasthold which is a competitive remake of the map that the guy who made this originally made. Um, the guy who made this is called Hawkle, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and a guy called Roald who helped with um, layout changes. Um, and probably some other stuff, who knows. Um, so yeah, this is CT side spawn. Um, there's a grandfather clock there, it looks pretty cool, sweet, MLG. Uh, I usually say the same things like every time, looks pretty cool, looks pretty sweet. And it's like, <laughs> I need more adjectives, you know. Um, a site seems pretty cool with the nukes. Um, there's a random whatever you call that, related to a graveyard for some reason in my mind. Um, also graffitis are a thing now, I totally forgot about that. They kind of blend in now with these, like, with this atmosphere, like the already placed graffitis in the map, you know, like sprays and like map textures on the walls and stuff. So uh, this is a site, it leads into this giant, whoa this is cool, giant like castle area with these knights, that's pretty cool, like suits of armour, um, leads up over here which is into like a sniper spot over the A site, so that that's like a good holding position for A, in my opinion, that's 10 out of 10 for snipers, accommodating for snipers you'll always get 10 out of 10 rep for me, um, that's some cool cloth there relating to somewhat religious things. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's not. Who knows? It reminds me of the Dragon Law thing on Cobblestone, you know, the long um, like artwork relating to that. But I don't think a skin would be made from that. Just personally, I don't think anyone would like it. Who knows though? Some skins are weird, but they still get accepted. Um, this is like a little corner with a well, that's pretty sweet, don't know what that is, or what it symbolises, but 10 out of 10, looks cool. This is T-spawn, little truck, uh, entrance to A, and I'm guessing this way goes B, and well, it goes double to A, so there's like an alternate A way, uh, alternate way to A, should I say. Hey, sick rhymes. Um, this is like a mill, I guess, churns. Ooh. Sweet. So it's like a bell, like a church, I guess. I don't know much about anything, so I'm not really sure. Maybe it's a wheat mill. Seeing as there's a mill here, there's like a wheat generating thing. I'm not really sure what you call it. I'm kind of stupid. My apologies. Um, this is B site, I take it. Um, a little fountain with a mill. It also has a sniper balcony, which is pretty sweet. 10 out of 10. Can you get up here? That was a bad jump. That was also a bad jump. I don't think you can get there. There you go. Damn it. So yeah, this CT spawn goes straight to B, which is good. Ding. Um, hotels. Pretty cool. Midway to B is a fountain slash. What do you call a fountain without water? Like, what is this? <laughs> like a, a statue of concrete? I, I don't know. And there's like this little house that has another look onto B, which is cool. A little bedroom and also a little window. Brilliant. 10 out of 10. Wow. Interesting pictures you have there. Um, 10 out of 10. Um, this leads round into the middle portion. Little ramp up to the little... Everything's little apparently. Um, <laughs> into the little castle area. Again, I said little. Still can't find an objective to describe apart from little. It's quite a small map, 10 out of 10. Quite a little map, way. Um, 
I like it though, it's like really well done. Lots of detail, lots of textures that are really good. Um, seems professionally made. Spotlight hanging from a singular thing that isn't centered. That that would bug me if I had a GHG, which I don't. Um, hay bales again, little like storage room to split off middle from B. And yeah, seems legit. A site seems a lot bigger than B site. So maybe A site will be harder to hold, seeing as there's like one spot there, one spot there, one spot there, and a spot up there to like defend from. Um, you can't stand up here, but you can stand in this corner, I suppose. Um, there may be smokes. Um, I'll try this. Oh, what? Really? You really can't do that? Um, I'll restart the game like an MLG. Oh, I just want to see how high the skybox is to see if there's any like particular smokes we could do. Um, why the round time at the beginning is 10 seconds? Is it always 10 seconds? Go, go, go. I'm so bad at competitive now. My competitive ranks MG2. Like I, I literally lost the MG in three games. Like that's how bad I am now. So cool. The skybox is really high. That's pretty sweet. I wonder if that smoke actually goes anywhere. Hey, it smokes B site. So that's cool. You can smoke B site directly from CT spawn if you want. Um, random off the cuff throwing of a smoke there. But um, as always, like if if you're kind of new to the game and you don't know how to throw smokes, usually if you sit in a corner and aim at like some area. This isn't a smoke, so it won't work. And then like aim, so see like that corner. So if you like, somehow make angles, Flashback. that won't do anything. Sorry about that. But like, <laughs> it, it, like you just have to like use your imagination and somehow create your own like smoke ideas. Like sometimes there'll be some that you can make yourself. Sometimes there'll be some that a preset and will be made in a map that someone will tell you about or like people like Trillix and people like that will just make um, smoke videos so you know um, how to throw smokes once they've found out such as like on Dust and Mirage and all the other maps um, but because they're classics like people know all the smokes because they've had like years and months and time to like play them all so like if this actually gets accepted into the game, which it might, who knows, um, then just like there's loads of little like wires and stuff in the sky that you could potentially line up with and um, be able to get some 10 out of 10 smokes. I'm not sure if I like explain that right. I'm kind of rambling, but I hope you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, this has been DE Fast Hold. It's quite a cool map. MLG Windmill right here. Be cool if it spun round, but um, I remember in that map, Santorini was it? Um, Trillix. I think it was Trillix found a bug where the windmill would like completely detach and end up flying across the map or something. I think that only happened like once or twice though, I'm not sure. So who knows, there might be problems with that like having movable like props or whatever you call it in uh, in maps I do like these pictures though, like especially this one <laughs> 10 out of 10 what does he look like with broken eyes? That, that's demonic and evil 10 out of 10 Volvic Water not a sponsorship um, so yeah this has been DE Fast Hold by Roald and Hawkel um, if you like this video please leave a like if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and you'll get to see more videos like this i forgot what my regular regular slogan was catchphrase outro words spaghetti um yeah i'm tired if you haven't noticed i apologize but yeah this is a pretty cool map i like it 10 out of 10 hope it gets accepted um the new operation should be soon um cat foods ship de shipped is being in the new 
I think it got accepted into the new one, so that's a map to expect soon in the new operation, hopefully. Um, he did tell me, or like hint at it a while ago, so maybe Valve do their own thing. Well, definitely Valve do their own, their own, definitely Valve do their own thing. So they may change the whole map loadout and stuff because nobody really knows what happens during operations. So yeah, I, I just try and collect all the gold coins. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, all that good stuff. I've already said this. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace. Big